Hey guys, welcome back to Elite Figure Unboxing. If you're finding me for the first time, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the future content. And in this video, we're going to take a look at the Masco 112 Collective, the Joker Deluxe Edition. I'm pretty sure most of you are familiar with this, so we're just going to quickly go over it. Here's the left of the box, here is the right of the box, and here is the back of the box. And let's not waste any more time and bust this thing open and see what we got. And here we have the figures still near the packaging, and as expected from a deluxe version, it does come with a lot of accessories. I'm very happy with the 5 test sculpt. And yeah, um, let's check out the figure itself. Alright, so here we have the figure itself, and as expected from Mesco 112, the figure looks really good. And let's just take a closer look at all this detail stitching from the cloth goods. Um, you have the orange vest, you have the green shirt, and you have the... Um, What's wrong with the pinstripe suit? Everything looks very, very good for the most part. Um, we have the green socks as well. And yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure most of you guys are familiar with this already. So I guess we can jump straight into the articulation. And for the articulation, let's quickly go over it from the neck down. He can look up about this much, look down about this much, and you can turn his head no problem. And the shoulder is on a standard hinge. Um, you can raise his arm up about this much and you can kind of move it like that. It's a little bit limiting. You do have bicep swivel and curl about this much and you do have a hinge wrist that functions pretty well and for the app crunch i believe the articulation is there but mine is really stiff and i'm really scared to like move it around so yeah i'm sorry about that maybe when i loosen it a little bit i'll show it off and for the leg you can kick up about this high before i start getting a little bit uncomfortable with the pants you can bend about this much a little bit of side to side pivot and no toe hinge and yeah i believe that's it for the articulation um it's honestly not that great but mesco doesn't have um amazing articulation it's not their strong suit and yeah um let's check out the accessories and for the accessories let's start with the default head sculpt and i think they pretty much nailed it every single one of them look good to me and next up we have a kind of smiling serious face and then we get an angry face. And next up, we get a crazy laughing face. And we have seen this one from the normal Joker, um, but I think there's some minor pain improvements. And lastly, we get a beat up face, which is probably my favorite, but I think they all look amazing. Just look at how nasty this is. And of course, all the heads are interchangeable with the previous Joker, so it's really nice to have both. And for the interchangeable hands, first off, we get one right hand for holding the Joker card and one left hand for the display open hands. I don't understand why they can't give us a pair though. Hmm. And next up, we get one right trigger finger hands for the pistol and the machine gun. And of course, you can take out a clip over here like so. And you can see the bullet there. Very nice attention to detail. And you can move this around as well. Take this off. Yeah, very cool. But again, I don't understand why we don't get a left trigger finger hand. And the last pair of hands we get is for holding a crowbar and a knife. And these are very nicely painted and sculpted. I gotta say, Masco is really good at making their accessories. Um, just look at this combat knife. Yeah, the amount of details they put in here is amazing. And a little razor blade too, and it's actually functional. Hmm, very, very cool. And then we have these quality of life accessories that I don't really care about. Um, we have the bomb, we have the teeth, and we have the um, shooting effect parts. And lastly, we have the purple trench coat, um, which is very nicely tailored. And the material they're using is very interesting. Um, it's really, really thin. I gotta look into this. And yeah, well, let's try this on. And here I have Joker assembled with a trench coat, and I think it looks amazing. And one top scale clothing always make the figure looks a little bit bulky, but in this case, I don't think it's that bad. Um, yeah, I mean, that's it for the accessories, and let's jump straight into the action poses.
Anyways, that was just some quick posing, and I hope you guys enjoy them. And after playing around with it, I think this is the best 1-12 scale Joker in the market right now. But that's just my opinion, um, do let me know in the comments on what you think, and let's check out some size comparison. And for the size comparison, let us start with some Mesco 112 Collective, and of course they look amazing together. And if you are interested in some of these coats, I am selling them personally, and the link is down in the description below. And then we have some good old Dragon Ball SH Fig Arts. Some Naruto SH Fig Arts. And then we have some Street Fighters and American IP SH Fig Arts. And lastly, we have some Figma figures and Amazing Yamaguchi Magneto. And let's jump straight into the final thoughts. Alright, so for the final thoughts, if you're a big fan of Mesco 112 or just Joker in general, this figure is pretty much a must-have. It's really, really well done. Um, but this figure is a Mesco exclusive, so if you don't already have it, he's going to be very, very expensive. But yeah, I think that's it from me. Um, do let me know in the comments on what you think. And this is Eric. Don't forget to like and subscribe follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.